All right, welcome to Daddy Jack's Coma Blues. So we're doing some Orsini's, Orsini's Day at Daddy Jack's here. Glenn Peltier's uh, wife Paula, the Orsini family, sausage and uh, porchettas and uh, beautiful, uh, we, we buy a lot of bulk sausage and uh, just the beautiful stuff. And uh, so we, Paula brought over a beautiful eight pound porchetta roast. So that's in the oven and we'll show you that in a little bit. But I want to show you how we're going to do the, I like just something different, these tournay, they call that a, a tournay potato. And that makes it look nice on the plate. Cut the bottoms off. This is, so you turn them, like, turn the outside like it's kind of shaped like a football. See? See, it's nice. We roast them off. Roast them off with some of the uh, fat off the porchetta roast. We used to uh, we used to do a full size, you know. Uh, I had a whole bake baker sized potatoes. Uh, when I did my apprenticeship in Hartford at the Signature, we used to have to do five gallon buckets of it every night. We'd have races, you know, who could finish, uh, same with a carrot, who could finish a uh, case the fastest. You get real good at it after a while. You can do tournay, zucchini, carrots, yellow squash. This kind of looks a little nice on the plate. Try to use up the scraps somehow, you know, as some potato going, so I use the potato scraps for mashed potato. That's it right there. We got one more. So we got three and three. All right, we'll be right back. We've got a roast here. Just pulled it out of the oven. So I'm going to pull out a little bit of the beef, the uh, pork fat. I'm going to roast our vegetables. I'm going to, uh, We're just going to put this back in the oven and we're going to make our gravy. Put this back in the oven for about 10 minutes. But, uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to roast off those, uh, potatoes and carrots. Drain them off real good. Salt, pepper. Close them brown up. We'll be right back. All right. So here we go. We got it browned off on one side, real nice. Nothing better than vegetables, and you know, cooked in that. And that uh, pork fat, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna put these in the oven probably about 15, 20 minutes. I like it like this. Got a nice crust on the outside and a soft, uh, flaky potato on the inside. There we go. All right, we'll be right back. Paula well, showed up just as she knows right when that pork head is ready. As Paula Arsini <laughs> felt the air. And we're rapping about the old days, you know. Uh, so we're gonna pull pull that porchetta off. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to make the gravy. That's a good chicken stock going. 
Um, and uh, which end do you think we ought to cut off at first? This end here or the other end? I'd say that end. Yeah? Okay. So the bottle was saying, oh, when that poor kid had come out of the oven on Sundays, the dad and that rope, you know, be, be, be chewing off that rope. Mm. Best part. I know what you mean. <laughs> so good. My sister, Heidi, she used to always pick she used to always pick on the rolls so when it come out of the other. We get so mad. Get on this. Stay away from that. So I kind of um a little bit of water and you know juice in the bottom still so a little you know just kind of simmer it down a little bit to you you know it stops bubble stop you know you gotta uh pure you know the pure fat in it and we get just a little bit more flour we want to make sure we got plenty of gravy so we got a beef stock, pork stock, I got some chicken stock right here. So, you know the rule of thumb is equal, equal parts fat and flour when you're making a roux. That'll uh, make sure you don't have a greasy gravy. You know, the fat will soak up just a little bit more. I like to cook that a little bit. I don't waste any of that flavor. I've told you that before. So, just put a little bit in at a time. That picks up the drippings. Work out the lumps. Anybody, uh, who made the gravy in your house? Your mom? Mom made the gravy. Of course. Yep. So you said that uh, you like a lot of times on Sundays you'd have your Italian dinner? Yeah. With some pasta, maybe? A little bit of pasta, porchetta, and then some vegetables and a salad and you're good to go. There you go. Now how would you cut the porchetta? Would it cut it real thin or? You know, all depending on the day. Yeah. Sometimes we did it real thin, but most of the time it was like a decent, you know, decent a good, cut. a good cut. So I'm just gonna add, add a little bit more. Uh, we call that chateau la pump, the water. I don't think you need any kind of liqueur, right? I mean, no. you know, you want straight, straight gravy on this. Got a little bit more chicken stock, you know, bouillon cube. If you don't have a little beef bouillon cube you could use. Is that about where we want it? No, that was good. Yeah? flavor on a gravy. Oh, my mom used to make it. Same. She'd do a nice pork roast. 
I was telling somebody, you know, uh, go to church on Sundays. You know, you'd be in church, you sit, and you say, you'd be thinking, oh my God, I know that roast is in the oven cooking. When we get home, that anticipation when you know you have some good home cooked food coming. Good Sunday dinner, always. Go just a little bit more, just a little bit more water, just a thing, just a little bit. Make sure you scrape all those drippings out the bottom. That's where the flavor and the that natural color comes from. All right, we're gonna let that pork sit for what about another 10, 10 minutes or so. Yeah. And then we have our roasted potatoes and carrots in the oven. And uh, what do you think else we ought to go with that? A little, any, anything underneath, like a garlic spinach or anything? Or? Yeah, well, that would be good. Okay, all right, That'd we'll be, be awesome. right back. All right, so we've been sitting up here for about, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Look at that nice jus, our jus. So look, we're gonna put that right back in our gravy. That's gonna sweeten. I'm going to sweeten that up just about just perfect. Okay. So. A little bit of garlic. Spinaca. sound like doing that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> De Niro? Yeah. That's you, oh man. That smell. Oh, that's now the porchetta, you got the fennel, right? Fennel and garlic. Fennel, and, garlic. Oh boy. No, no oregano. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Woo. Okay. Pull out our uh, rizzle potatoes. Carrot. Alright. What do you think? Just put the gravy right over the top? Why not? So uh We've been cooking this. I cooked, I put it in this morning at 300 and covered it low and slow uh, for, put it in at 9.30 till 10, till 2.30. So it's five hours. And then I put it in the pizza oven for a good hour just to crisp it up. But Paula, you can do it what? At 350? 350, you know, a couple hours. Um, a four pounder is usually a few hours long. Four hours? So, yeah. So this, so, uh, that was a big one. A four so. pounder had been how, how many? Two hours? Two hours. About so, two hours. So this was an eight pounder, so it had been about four, four hours, hours at, some, at, yeah. at 350? Yeah. All right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> huh? It's like Sunday dinner, but it's only uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> All right. Now That's it. We're going to go out. We're going to go out to the table and eat. Like real, real people for a change. We'll be right back. We'll be back with you. All right. Mm. Wow. It's a good job. Woo. Mm. I love it in the fire. Mm. That wood fire does. It was 500, 500 degrees mm -hmm. at the end. Look at the crust on that. That's, mm. like, that's how you like it. Come on, Corey. 
Grab some weapons. So, one of the one of the company right here, Corey. When did the uh, when did Orsini start? 1933. 1933. My grandfather started it in 1933. Wow. Down at the port. Fort Trumbull. Fort Trumbull. Fort Trumbull. And then you stick around. Uh, I'm gonna take her back. She's gonna go back to the mom. Nice to see you, Brady. Hi, nice, sweetheart. All right, I'll see you guys later. Hi, Josh. Bye. Yeah, good to see you. Enjoy. Fort Trumbull. Now that was the part of that uh, eminent domain. Yep. Fort Trumbull was uh, the big Italian section for how many years? I mean, forever. Forever, forever. They had all the Italian markets. Somebody said it was like at one time four grocery stores. Yep, my grandfather had one of the stores down there and he helped all the people that came in from Italy and stuff like that and helped them get settled here. So, yeah. Ambassador to the new people kind coming of. over. Kind of, yeah. What do you think, Corey? That's good stuff right there, man. <laughs> Must have been a, an unbelievable. Now, did you know? Did you know the original store that was no, over there? No. No. Um, I grew up with the one that was on the corner of Coleman Street and Elm Street, which is um, right across from Rita's yeah. um, ice cream. So that used to be Anjo's. It was in the front, and my grandparents had. Was that the brick little, building? Yeah, which is now the. Um, it's a. Like flowers. No, Ch it's Chinese. a Chinese restaurant now. Oh, yeah. to the Chinese restaurant, but um, so we grew up there at that store, and, um, and it was a tiny little hole in the wall, really, really tiny. And uh, my grandmother. They did used to work there. Mm -hmm. They did doing what? Mm. Well, we washed the floors, <laughs> but I'd also, but I'd also do the casing. My grandmother would get a big, huge container of the the sausage casings, and they look like spaghetti, but they're all tied up together, and we'd have to. Untie rinse them, them and rinse, rinse them. them and get them out of the salt and all that stuff. So that was our job. Rinse yeah. them and wash them. Yeah. Wash them out real good. Mm -hmm. Intestines, yep. right? Pigs' and intestines. Yeah. Yep. And then we would, and as we got older, we did more. And then I would run the store. And my mom and dad had the store in Groton also, so I took care of the one in New London for them every once in a while. And then I now, now the store, the store in New London. Did, did you serve grinders and sandwiches there? Um, no, that was it. Was really small. It was really really tiny. Anjo was in the front, and he had like a like he was like kind of like a, um, like a little diner kind of thing. So we didn't do that kind of stuff. So we basically sold um, the sausage and we sold some cold cuts, and that was it there. But then when my parents had the store in Groton, then it was full blown. Everything. All the real Italian good everything. cold cuts. Everything. All the cold cuts, all the mortadella, soppressata. All, all the stuff I missed. All the mm -hmm. good stuff. And then you had yeah. good Italian bakeries. Yeah, we um, we were one of the only bakeries around here that um, carried a lot of stuff from Hartford. My mom and dad would go up every week and um, we would do the Italian pastry, we would do all the weddings and you know, us kids would on Christmas, seven hundred cannolis we'd make in a day. What? Yeah. Was Mazzucato's in business up uh, there then, Mazzucato's back in the day? And um, uh, modern pastry. M modern, yeah. We, we dealt with modern pastry, so they were great. Yeah. So growing up, I didn't like the pastry because all I did was look at it all day long. <laughs> now I don't mind it. Got tired of looking at it? Yeah, now I don't mind it. Now, did you try the potato? Uh, the, yeah. the roasted Rizalay um, potato? I haven't gotten to that yet. <laughs> you want to try one, Corey? Uh, no, I'm good. That, that would have lean? I unfortunately just ate before I came down here. Otherwise, you'd be eating this whole thing. You know? Yeah, there's a lot of big Italian population here in New London. That's very good. That's well, we serve it here. The porchetta, people love it. The, the Italian sausage, Orsini's, and now... Your mom, your mom, and dad had the store in Groton, mm -hmm. and you were doing the porchetta grinders. Porchetta grinders. She had a line up the door for that all the time. So when we're done here, we're gonna put together, try to recreate one of those porchetta grinders. As Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues, Orsini's porchetta roast. They serve them all throughout Mohegan Sun. Uh, they buy them by a case, case loads, and. You buy, can you buy porchetta in the grocery stores? You can. Yeah. The grocery stores have them. Stop so, and shop. Uh, Shoprite. Shoprite. Shoprite and Tri Town. Um, they both carry it, or you can get it directly from me. You do any mail order? I do. What? Uh, a little bit. You could ship. You could ship them out. It's, it's a little bit crazy to do that, but yeah. You're, really you're gonna put. Uh, you're gonna put uh, maybe up on the uh, 
The graphics up, Glenn, maybe? Okay, great. Day Jacks go with the blues. Day Jacks, 181 Bank Street, beautiful downtown New London. Come visit. Peace. That's good.